Hey, how's it going everyone? Welcome back to another episode of Behind the Bar Liquor Reviews. Tonight we have Wine Men of Gotham, Shiraz. It's a 2011. They're an Australian vineyard. And when they were founded back in 2004, their main goal was to be an inexpensive wine that delivered a great taste for their customers. And we'll have to see how that goes. For anybody that doesn't know, Shiraz is Syrah in Australia. So if you ever see a Shiraz and you like Syrah, you'll probably like Shiraz. Just in case you didn't know already. <laughs> they did already taste similar to me, so I'm not surprised. Well, that's because they're the same grape. Oh, I totally to forgot to introduce our guest host, Rachel. Yes. Hi. She'll be sitting in on this one, and she's a wine expert also. Me. So Kinda she says. <laughs> <laughs> it's a screw cap, which is, is popular in Australia and New Zealand. And this guy, it was uh, $7.99 at the liquor store, and I heard good stuff about it. They said it was. A great wine. So it's got a cool label too. That was the main thing that drew it a to me. A lot of people label shop, which I try to avoid, but it has a cool label. I look at price point and I also look at the uh, where it's made and any kind of designation that it might have on the bottle, which we'll get into in another episode. Because you know certain certain things to look for make it might make it a little regions. bit better. Thank you. You are welcome, sir. <laughs> it's dumping these glasses to swirl it. It is. Wow. <laughs> See, I like Shiraz. That is very good. And that's not great. I don't get a whole lot of tannins like you expect kind of with a Shiraz. Yeah. A little bit more on the back end of it. Mm -hmm. Not a real long finish. That's probably why it's not a real expensive wine. Generally with a hardier wine, you want to be able to match it up with something a little bit hardier as far as like a red meat. And like with a Syrah or a Shiraz, I have no problem putting that with a strip steak. Might not go ribeye, definitely not prime rib because of the way that they're, I know it's the same cut but they're cooked differently. And I would probably rate this one about a four. Ooh. Really? In the realm of Shiraz's. Ouch. It's not bad. I mean, it's drinkable. If I was gonna drink something, like for casual drinking, this is okay. But I'm not gonna put it on a menu. I think coming in an $8 bottle of wine that this was very flavorful, it's got a nice, nose to it, it had a nice finish, it's, it does not do anything wrong, it, you know, there's no flaws, it, it is a very drinkable wine, I very much enjoy it. Well, I, yeah, it's it's no, there's nothing offensive about it. For me though, if I'm looking at a Shiraz, I'm thinking of Syrah, and I'm thinking of what its job is in relation to food, and it has a very short finish. For a hearty red wine, personally, I want a longer finish on it. I want a little bit more tannin because I want it to do what it's designed to do. Well, I mean, and if I'm matching it with food, I've got to now tweak my menu to match the wine. And I don't like to do that so much. That's just a personal thing. But there's nothing wrong with the wine. I'm, uh, I'm going to bring this one in. I'm going to say it's a good seven and a half, maybe even an eight. It's I, I liked it. I enjoyed it. And again, you're talking about the price point. I can find an eight, nine dollar bottle of Shiraz that are far beyond what this one is. Um, I enjoyed it. It's personal taste. What do you think, Rachel? Um, I really like it. I think, you know, with or without food, it's delicious. <laughs> <laughs> and I'd say about an eight. What did I call this one? What did four. I give this? Four. Give four. Yeah, I'll stick with four. Really? I'll give I'll give it a four only that because I know it's light. It doesn't have a whole yep, lot. Not to a whole it, lot going but on. But it's very drinkable. That makes it. Oh, drinkable. drinkable. Yeah, there's nothing like I said. There's nothing offensive about it. But if I'm looking at Shiraz, I know there are better Shirazes than this one for that price point. I know there are. No question because I've had them. So. That's are you gonna give any extra points because of the label is so cool? No, the label is cool. I'll give, I'll give it cool. Okay. <laughs> but I can't get more points. Label is a piece of paper. It's a sticker. 
All right. Well, I I did enjoy this one very much. I do recommend it. I mean, for being only an eight dollar wine, you're okay. gonna enjoy drinking it. it I don't recommend it. <laughs> <laughs> Only because, again, if you're a wine person, and I'm a wine guy, I'm looking at it to have a certain characteristic, and it doesn't have that tannin, long finish kind of thing that you expect, that kind of bite, that peppery bite that you expect from a Syrah or a Shiraz. There is a bit of the peppery flavor missing from this one. Not enough of what I'm looking yeah, for. It, it is, it, it is a lot less of a peppery flavor than I'm used to with it, but the rest of the wine is very good, I think. I think it holds its own. It might not be the best you're going to get at $8, but if you see it, you're not going to be disappointed picking it up. Again, I would say it depends on what you're looking for. If you're looking for a Shiraz or a Syrah to do something specific, which would be a more tannic thing, you'll be disappointed in this wine. But it's not a, it's not offensive. So you know you could drink it. But don't match it with a, a a hearty steak that's pan seared with foie gras or anything like that on it, because it won't hold up. All right. Anything else to add? That is all. All right. Cheers, everyone. Cheers. Thanks for tuning in. Have a good night.